The ill-gotten party assets settlement committee is moving to freeze the assets of the China Youth Corps a day after determining that the organization is an affiliate of the KMT. The China Youth Corps is a sprawling organization that runs youth activities and classes across Taiwan. Today, the government's assets committee met with representatives of the organization to negotiate ways to keep the youth programs going. Yesterday, the Cabinet's Assets Committee determined that the China Youth Corps was an affiliate of the KMT, which means the China Youth Corps' assets of 5.6 billion NT would be frozen. Today, the Assets Committee initiated negotiations with the youth organization in a bid to minimize the impact on the organization's operations. So long as the China Youth Corps faces the matter with sincerity, I believe the committee chairman took particular care yesterday to emphasize we want to proceed in the direction of having the least possible impact on its legal businesses. We also hope to maintain the basic operations of the entire China Youth Corps. This punishment is an unconstitutional punishment, but for the sake of our employees' rights, the rights of the public, and the stability of society, we are willing to come here today to negotiate with the Assets Committee. The China Youth Court said that within a week at the earliest, it would ask Taipei High Administrative Court to stay the execution of the committee ruling. Today, DPP legislators furnished historical documents that they said substantiated the inextricable tie between the China Youth Corps and the KMT. This is a document issued by the Ministry of National Defense. We can see here that in 1963, when the China Youth Corps issued its year-end bonuses, the money came from the KMT Central Committee. Is there any civic organization that gets its year-end bonuses from the KMT? Pan Green lawmakers pointed out innumerable evidence in a strong show of support for reclaiming China Youth Corps' assets and returning them to the people.